Just a quick reminder that your limitation is self-induced. Um, oftentimes people think that they are a victim of limitation when they are actually the one choosing and reinforcing that level of limitation, meaning the suggestion of limitation, the suggestion of smallness, the suggestion of lack is often given or handed down or offered to us through some external authority, through a parent, um, through a teacher, through a system, through a model of something, um, or through our own thinking. And the choosing, the perpetuation, and the continuing of that limitation is 100% up to you, which means that the alternative is also true. That your power, your potential, and your unlimited nature, and your belief in that is also completely up to you. It's not something that you can get from somebody else. And so this is very important for you to understand, especially if you are looking to heal um, a condition that has been named and defined by the medical industry um, and specifically the ones that come with a prognosis or a story that is impossible um, or so severe that the outlook for you is bleak at best. Um, so this is also true with regards to genetic things because you've seen it in your family when it's part of your reality. It is going to demand an another completely new way of thinking and being and existing to overcome um, the stories, the um, trajectory of that presentation. And so this is very important for people to understand because so many times um, I'm blown away by individuals who are relentless in their choosing of limitation, that you can tell them something is possible and they will do everything within their power um, to prove why it's not or to find a reason why it can't happen or why it can't happen for them. Um, and this is so sad for me because it's a choosing to believe that way. You are either fighting for your limitation or you are fighting for your power. And if you want a certain reality, and you want it with everything that you've got, you will find every excuse, every reason, every maybe, every shred of evidence that it might be possible for you and you will go get it and you will live within that reality. If, however, what you are more invested in is your smallness, is your lack, is limitation, is um, being a victim, then you will find everything imaginable to reinforce and support why that is true for you and so the freedom comes in being massively honest with yourself in understanding that you are choosing whatever version of life you are experiencing right now you are choosing and so to move out of it you have to acknowledge what is know where you want to go and then know what it's worth to get there and so if you want something that the world has labeled as impossible you are going to have to have a level of mind, a level of commitment greater than anything you've ever experienced. You are going to have to only look towards what you want to happen. You will have to block out everything that tells you you can't. And I'm telling you this because I've done it. And I've done it five times over. So when you're handed a man-made word defined by man that gives you a prognosis that says it's impossible for you to ever overcome it, if you're given one of those, that requires such a level of grit, tenacity, and determination to prove your power to yourself, not live within the limitation handed to you. And if you have more than one, it requires that again and again and again and again. And so this is something that is often misunderstood, that you heal and then you believe this way. And unfortunately, what I experienced was the exact opposite. I had to believe that it was possible for me, even though all of medicine, all of my mentors, all of everybody else was echoing back to me that it was impossible. I had to have the grit, the um, toughness, the strength to know what I wanted, to lock eyes with it and to turn away from anything that said that that was impossible and go find any glimmer of anything that said that maybe I could have the outcome that I wanted. And when you understand that, 
then you understand why the first step is understanding what you believe in, what you really believe in, which is why I bring that up so often. Because when you know what you believe in, you understand everything downstream from that. And if you believe in your power, you turn off everything that tries to poke holes in your power. If you believe in your limitation, you will find every possibility that tells you that you are powerful and you will find and poke holes in that. And you have to understand that that is part of what it is to be a human. You are choosing your reality. You are choosing your power. You are choosing your limitation. And it's only up to you. You are the only one that can alter your experience, your physical experience, your physical body, how you experience this physical world. It's 100% up to you. So it's not that the body proves itself to you and then you believe in it. Um, the truth is, is you've got to know what you believe in and then you move in the direction of that belief with every ounce of grit that you've got. Then you get the results that you want that come from the stories of other people telling you it's possible. So I almost hope that you're put into a position where you have to do the impossible without getting to see that anyone else has ever done it before. Because then you will understand a level of you that you could never access, <laughs> that you could never find in a book you wouldn't want to. And that gets to touch every part of your life on the other side of that. And there's something about that um, that is just magic and medicine that cannot come from hardly anything else. And it's one of those things that you've got to have the desire to go where you want to go, to live how you actually want to live. And if you don't, don't frustrate yourself by going through the motions. Um, there's so much here. There's so much just in the you know, curiosity and the investigation into yourself with regards to these things. What smallness are you choosing today? What greatness are you choosing? And how tenacious are you in the holding of those things? How relentless are you in the choosing of your power? Or how relentless are you in the claiming of your weakness?